Scott, this is the EAHS, S meaning standard. Does that mean there's a lack of technology on this model? No, um, your terminology standard is absolutely correct. Mitsubishi look at what is standard requirements uh, for any uh, mold maker, die maker, or general sort of job subcontract shop and include everything into the, into the machine control and its capability as a standard. So what's the difference between the standard and the more premium machines in the, in the range? So the more premium machines um, have things like thermal displacement control. Um, you might be looking at programmable nozzles for special carbide or PCD uh, work, uh, PCD adapters. But uh, after that, that's pretty, pretty much where the, where the segregation is. And I know if we look at this control, it looks quite complicated to control, but it's very straightforward, isn't it? It is. It's very, very easy to use. I'll, I'll give you just a small overview. So what we have here is a very simple example of a program where we've got a basic start point, end point, some tool numbers from the carousel. The operator will literally go into his help dialogue pages. And here, for example, when we talk about the standard for maybe subcontractors, we might talk about, for example, the Formula One industry using titanium alloys or aerospace, for example. So here we've created some simple uh, criteria. We've also looked at maybe the orbit, maybe it's a titanium hexagon that we're trying to spark in. And we search and transfer that to the program. And we have a cavity using a rough and finishing electrode for tight titanium alloy ready to run. That all looks great, but what happens if I've got more than one component? Can we nest? Yeah, so that's often quite the case, especially as we mentioned before in the Formula One industry. Uh, we might have five, six components set up on the machine. So what I can do is I can clone uh, this particular uh, part. Very simply. So now we've got three components using rough and finishing electrodes. And then what I can also do is I can edit the machine order and decide if I want to rough in one direction and finish in, in, in reverse. So now we've got a sequence applied to that. If I need to, I can also go back into that and I can actually switch off particular columns so that I can actually jump into a, a different sequence. But also in the background, we have an electrode measurement where I might just choose to pick up the electrode and also a workpiece measurement. And I can link that directly into the program. So now I've got a cycle that will actually pick up the electrodes, pick up the workpiece and carry out the EDM process all in one program. So Scott, this is the EAHS. What else is in the range? Yeah, so we have the 8S and also the 12S. Uh, so the 12 has, a, has a, a stroke of 400 by 300 by 400, just to give you that additional capacity. The 8S comes with a standard 10 position tool changer. You can specify a 20 position. And also with the 12S, a standard on that is the 20, but if you would like the 10, that's also possible. Okay, to me, it seems like we've talked a lot about subcontract engineers, but there's a high performance to price ratio on this machine. So it's not only subcontractors, it's also original equipment manufacturers also. Yeah, absolutely. And, and also the mold and dye uh, industry. Um, so the technology developments that have been over the years uh, with graphite technology, with the graphite fine adapters, with adaptive waveform, that's also standard on this technology. And it's all looked after by HK Technologies in the UK, I understand. That's correct. Yeah, so myself and my colleagues in application and service, we take care of the, of the machine installation, training and technical support. But of course, we've got this lovely facility here at Mitsubishi Dusseldorf behind us, ready to give us any additional help should we need it. And if the customer wishes to look at the technology, we normally have the 12S inside uh, our plant in Rugby. Alternatively, they're more than happy to join us here in Dusseldorf.